Hello crafters, I am Komal. Today I am sharing this spooky spider web bag tutorial with you. This is a beginner friendly pattern with an elaborate video tutorial. Link to the return pattern with step by step photo tutorial is in the description box below. This is the front side of the spider web bag and this is the back side. The inside of the bag with lot of space for your personal items. It is a perfect addition for the upcoming spooky season as well as a regular everyday bag. Let's get into the materials required to crochet this bag. In order to make the spider web bag, you will require the following materials. For this project, I have used DK weight yarn, 50 grams of white color yarn to make the spider web, 100 grams of black color yarn to make two flat circles. For making the spider, I have used orange color yarn, about 10 to 20 grams of this yarn will be used. Apart from this, I will be using 4.5 mm crochet hook, measuring tape, a needle, scissors and also some markers. We will make a single spider in keychain format. A single spider web. and two flat circles which will be used as two panels for the bag. On one of the flat circles, the spider web will be attached. This spider web will be stitched to the flat circle with the help of a darning needle. After attaching both panels, we will work the belt strap for the bag and the spider will go over it. So this is the process that we will follow in order to make our bag. As you can see I have written down the materials I have used for making this bag. The bag will measure about 9 inches by 9 inches. We will start with the instructions for the flat circle. Start by making a magic circle and work 12 double crochet into the ring. Since we cannot see stitches clearly in the black color yarn, I will be using the orange color yarn to show the stitches clearly. So this is how I will make the magic circle. I will start by making an egg structure over 3 of the fingers then going under a loop I will bring second loop through the first and make a chain. Now pulling on the free string I will tighten the magic circle. I will show you how to make a double crochet stitch without using 3 chain stitches. Into this magic ring work a single crochet stitch and then into this loop on the left side work another single crochet. Let me show you again. Working a single crochet into the magic ring. Then into the first loop work another single crochet stitch. This will make our starting double crochet stitch for every round. Now let's continue working double crochet stitches into the ring. A total of 12 double crochet stitches will be made. After completing 12 double crochet stitches, slip stitch into the first double crochet stitch to finish the round. We have completed the first step. Now begin the second step. Do not turn and work 2 double crochet stitches into each stitch. A total of 24 double crochet stitches in the second round. 
Begin round 2 by working the double crochet stitch into the first stitch. In the same stitch work the second double crochet. Now 2 double crochet into the next stitch. Two double crochet into the third stitch. Again two double crochet in the fourth stitch. Continue working two double crochet in each stitch till the end of the round. I am working in the last stitch. Now slip stitch in the first double crochet to finish the second round. Remember never turn your piece while working the consecutive rounds. For the third round work 2 double crochet followed by 1 double crochet 12 repeats total 36 double crochets in this round. Begin by working double crochet in the first stitch. This is the first double crochet, work another double crochet in the same stitch followed by one double crochet in the next stitch. Again repeat two double crochet in the next stitch. Followed by one double crochet. Go on repeating 2 double crochet followed by 1 double crochet till the end of the round. In the last stitch working 1 double crochet. Finish the third round with slip stitch in the first stitch. In the fourth round work 2 double crochet followed by 1 double crochet in the next 2 stitches 12 time repeat and total 48 double crochet by the end of the fourth round. For the fourth round start with 2 double crochet in the first stitch. Followed by 1 double crochet in the next 2 stitches. Similarly work 2 double crochet in the next stitch followed by 1 double crochet in the next 2 stitches. Keep on repeating 2 double crochet in the next stitch followed by 1 double crochet in the next 2 stitches till the end of the round. Completed the 4th round with slip stitch in the 1st stitch. Let's start with the next round. Begin the 5th round with 2 double crochet followed by 1 double crochet in the next 3 stitches. Repeat 12 times, total 60 double crochet by the end of the round. Let's begin by making a double crochet in the first stitch. This is the first double crochet, work another double crochet in the same stitch. Now one double crochet in each of the next Three stitches. We'll repeat this pattern of working two double crochet in one stitch followed by 
1 double crochet in next 3 stitches. Now repeat this pattern until the end of the round and I'll meet you here. Now slip stitch in the first stitch to finish the round. Now we have completed 5 rounds. For the 6th round, we will work 2 double crochet in 1 stitch followed by 1 double crochet in the next 4 stitches which we will repeat for 12 times total 72 double crochet stitches by the end of the round. Begin round 6 with double crochet in the first stitch. In the same stitch work another double crochet. So 2 double crochet in the first stitch. In the next 4 stitches work 1 double crochet in each stitch. Repeat same instructions for next 5 stitches. 2 double crochet in the first stitch followed by 1 double crochet in the next 4 stitches. Repeat the same instructions till the end of the round. Slip stitch in the first stitch to finish the round. We've completed the sixth round. For the seventh round, work two double crochet in the first stitch followed by one double crochet in the next five stitches. Repeat 12 times 84 double crochet by the end of the round. Begin round seven with one double crochet in the first stitch. Another double crochet in the same stitch. One double crochet in each of the next five stitches. Follow same instructions and work 2 double crochet in the next stitch followed by 1 double crochet in the next 5 stitches. Repeat these instructions till the end of the round and I'll meet you at the beginning of the 8th round. We have completed the 7th round. Now for the 8th round, work 2 double crochet in the first stitch followed by 1 double crochet in the next 6 stitches. With 12 repeats, there will be total 96 double crochet stitches by the end of the round. Begin round 8 with double crochet in the first stitch. Another double crochet in the same stitch. Now in the next 6 stitches work 1 double crochet in each stitch.
again work two double crochet in the next stitch followed by one double crochet in each of the next six stitches Repeat the same instructions for the entire round and I'll meet you at the beginning of the 9th round. We finish the 8th round with slip stitch in the 1st stitch. For the 9th round as well, 2 double crochet in the 1st stitch followed by 1 double crochet in the next 7 stitches. Repeat this 12 times, there should be 108 stitches at the end of the round. Begin the 9th round with double crochet in the 1st stitch. Another double crochet in the same stitch. Work 1 double crochet in each of the next 7 stitches. Again follow the same instructions and work 2 double crochet in the next stitch followed by 1 double crochet in each of the next 7 stitches. Repeat these instructions till the end of the round and complete the round with slip stitch in the first stitch. Next I'll let you know how to make the base of the bag and where to keep the opening for the bag. For this you'll need two stitch markers. Place the first marker at the beginning. Then count 27 stitches and place the second marker over the 27th stitch. These 27 stitches are the opening for the bag. And the rest of the portion will be the base of the bag. Begin by working chain 1 and Turn your piece. This way the inside of the bag will be facing us. Now work 1 double crochet in the first stitch. And continue to work 1 double crochet in each stitch till the second marker. Just make sure you do not work in the second marker stitch. Like this continue working double crochet stitches till the second marker. Working on the wrong side has given a curve to the bag on the inside of the bag. The remaining portion of unworked stitches is the opening of the bag. With this our first piece of flat circle is done. Make another one and then I'll show you how to join them. So these are the two finished 
pieces of flat circles with me. Now place them such that the right side of both the pieces face inside and the wrong sides are facing outside. Then join them together with your preferred method of sewing from first stitch marker to the second stitch marker. With a tapestry needle and a white color yarn, I'll show you the method I applied to stitch both the pieces together. Go on stitching till the second stitch marker but do not work in the opening of the bag. So I have stitched from one stitch marker to the other. This is the wrong side so I will turn it inside out. Now we have the right side out. As you can see we have made a nice base to the bag here. Let's give a single crochet edging to the opening of the bag. Again, I will use the orange color yarn to demonstrate. Join the yarn at any one of the corners and secure it with a chain 1. Work a single crochet in the first stitch. Single crochet in the next stitch. Now go on working single crochet in each stitch till the end of the round. I'll be working this edging in black color yarn. While you are working single crochet in each stitch, when you reach the double crochet, work two single crochets over the double crochet stitch. Slip stitch in the first stitch to complete the round. Second step of the process is to make a single spider web circle. For this we will start with a magic circle and work 18 double crochet stitches into the ring. Total 18 double crochet stitches at the end of the round. Let's start by making a magic ring with white color yarn. Make a double crochet stitch into the ring. This is our first double crochet. Now add another 17 double crochet stitches into the ring. Pull on the free end of the string to tighten the ring. Total 18 double crochet stitches. Now slip stitch into the first double crochet to complete the round. After completing the first round, remember to never turn your piece while working the consecutive rounds. For the second round, work 1 double crochet and chain 1 into each stitch. By the end of the round, you should have 18 double crochet stitches and 18 chain stitches. Start the round by working a double crochet stitch into the first stitch. And chain 1. Again, a double crochet stitch and chain 1 into the next stitch. Now repeat the pattern. 
of working one double crochet and one chain into each stitch till the end of the round. stitch into the first stitch to complete the round for the third round work one double crochet and chain two in each stitch this will give you 18 double crochet stitches and 36 chain stitches by the end of the round each round will increase by 18 chain stitches begin by working a double crochet in the first stitch Make sure you are always working in the double crochet stitches of previous round and never in the chain stitches. Chain 2 Again work a double crochet plus chain 2 in the next stitch. Continue to work double crochet plus chain 2 in each stitch till the end of the round. With each round there will be one increase in the number of chain stitches between the double crochet stitches. We've completed the third round with slip stitch in the first stitch. For the fourth round, it will be one double crochet and chain three in each stitch. By the end of the round, we will have 18 double crochet stitches and 54 chain stitches. Begin round four by working one double crochet in the first stitch. After the first double crochet, work 3 chain stitches. Again in the next stitch, work double crochet and chain 3. Now continue to make double crochet and chain 3 in each stitch till the end of the round. We've completed the fourth round with slip stitch in the first stitch. For the fifth round, work one double crochet and chain four in each stitch. 18 double crochet stitches and 72 chain stitches by the end of the round. Begin the round with one double crochet in the first stitch. Chain four. Double crochet in the next stitch. And chain 4. Continue to work 1 double crochet plus chain 4 in each stitch till the end of the round. and complete the round with slip stitch in the first stitch. As you can see, we have progressively added chain 1, 2, 3 and 4 between double crochet stitches from round 2 to 5. 
Now for the sixth round, work double crochet plus chain five in every stitch. So by the end of the round, we will have eighteen double crochet stitches and ninety chain stitches. Begin round six with double crochet in the first stitch. Now chain five. In the next stitch, work a double crochet and then a chain five. Now continue working one double crochet plus chain five in every stitch till the end of the round. And slip stitch in the first stitch to complete the round. Now for the last round, we will work one double crochet plus chain six in each stitch, total eighteen times. So that we will have eighteen double crochet and hundred and eight chain stitches by the end of the round. Begin the round with double crochet in the first stitch. Chain six, now double crochet in the next stitch, and chain six. Now continue working double crochet plus chain six in each stitch till the end of the round. And finally, slip stitch in the first stitch to complete the last round. With this, our spider web is done. The next step. Is to make a spider key ring. The third step of the process is spider key ring. We will begin by making the key ring part first, and then the body of the spider. With 3.5 mm crochet hook and orange color yarn, make 40 chain stitches. Slip stitch into the first chain stitch to complete the key ring part. Now we will make the body of the spider. Chain 5 which acts as a double treble crochet. Now work one double treble crochet into the slip stitch. Yarn over twice. Insert hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook and again yarn over and pull through other two loops on the hook twice. Two double treble crochet is made. Now work another four double treble crochets into the same stitch. With this we have made a total of 6 double treble crochets. Next is spider legs on the right side. There are 2 long legs and 2 short legs in the middle. First leg is the long one. So make a total of 10 chain stitches. Now turn the chain just made and work slip stitch into each stitch till the end of the row. 
turn the chain and work slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. And continue working slip stitch in each chain stitch for the rest of 8 chain stitches. Total 9 slip stitches made. Next is the first short leg. For this work 7 chain stitches. Now turn your chain and work slip stitch in the second chain stitch from the hook. Now continue working slip stitches in the remaining 5 chain stitches. Total 6 chain stitches made. For the third leg, which is also a short one, chain 7. Now turn the chain and work slip stitch in the second stitch from the hook. And continue working slip stitches in the remaining 5 chain stitches. Total 6 slip stitches made. The fourth leg on the left side will also be a long leg. So make 10 chain stitches. Now turn the chain and work slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and continue working slip stitches in the remaining 8 chain stitches. Total 9 slip stitches made. Spider legs on the right side are done. Next we will work on the upper body of the spider and we will work in these 6 double treble crochets for the same. Make a double crochet in the first double treble crochet stitch. Now work double crochet 2 together in the next two stitches over this double crochet two together we will make the first eye of the spider for this make four chain stitches and then slip stitch in the first stitch This completes our first eye of the spider. For the second eye of the spider, work 4 chain stitches again. And then slip stitch in the first chain stitch. Both spider eyes are done. Now we will continue with the upper body of the spider. Make double crochet two together in the fourth and fifth double treble crochet stitch.
and in the last double treble crochet stitch work a double crochet this completes the upper body of the spider now we will make the spider legs on the left side begin by making 10 chain stitches for the longer leg now turn the chain and work slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and continue to work slip stitch in remaining 8 chain stitches Total 9 slip stitches made and the first longer leg is complete. Now we will make the second leg which is a short one. Make 7 chain stitches. Now turn the chain and work slip stitch in the second stitch from the hook. Continue to work slip stitch in remaining 5 chain stitches. Total 6 slip stitches made and with this completed the second leg. We will make the third leg which is also a short one. Work 7 chain stitches. Now turn the chain and work slip stitch in the second stitch from the hook. Continue to work slip stitch in remaining 5 chain stitches. Total 6 slip stitches made and we have completed the third leg. And now we will make the last leg which is a longer one. For this work 10 chain stitches. Now turn the chain and work slip stitch in the second stitch from the hook. And continue to work slip stitch in the remaining 8 chain stitches. Total 9 slip stitches made. And with this we have made all the 8 legs of the spider. Now in order to join these legs to the body of the spider, we will slip stitch into the stitch where the last double crochet was made. Which is at the top of the chain 5 made at the beginning. And now chain 1 and cut the yarn. Leave the end of the yarn a little long for weaving it in. The body of the spider along with all the 8 legs is complete. Let's give it some finishing touches while we are weaving in the end. Insert the yarn into the needle. Turn the spider on the wrong side. You will notice these gaps between the body and the legs of the spider. We will close these gaps as we are weaving in the end. Insert the needle through the stitch on the long leg, then the body and out of the stitch from the leg on the other side. Again insert the needle through a stitch on the short leg, then the body and out of the stitch from the other short leg. Thank you. 
repeat the same process one last time and then continue to weave in the end now the gaps are no longer visible with this the spider keychain is done the fourth part of the process is to make a single back strap i have already made one in black instead of black yarn i'll be working with an orange one to make this start with a slip knot and work 92 chain stitches increase or decrease the number of chain stitches according to the length of the strap you'd like for the black strap i had made 92 chain stitches and it measures 70 centimeter or 27 inches after making the desired number of chain stitches we will work only in these back loops of every chain stitch in the second chain from the hook work a starting double crochet the first double crochet is made make the next double crochet in the next back loop another double crochet in the next back loop and continue working double crochet in the back loop till the end of the chain So this is how the strap will look like after working in all of the 92 chain stitches. Leaving a long yarn end, cut the excess yarn. Let's attach the strap to the bag. We created this base at the joining of the panels of the bag. The strap ends will be sewn onto this base. One end here and the other end on the opposite side. I will demonstrate with a white color yarn though I will be sewing it onto the bag with a black color yarn. Place the strap on the inside of the bag like so. Insert the needle from inside and bring it out like so. Now insert the needle from outside and bring it in like so. Continue sewing in the same manner. Then cut the yarn and weave in the ends. Both ends of the bag handle are sewn onto the body of the bag. The strap is not so stretchy due to the design and nicely secured to the bag. Let's add the spider web to the bag. As an afterthought, I will recommend you to attach the spider web to the panels before sewing the panels together. Place the spider web over one of the flat circles such that both the spider web and the flat circle have their right sides facing you. Secure the web to the flat circle with stitch markers over the entire circumference. With the help of a yarn needle and white color yarn, go on joining the web to the flat circle stitch by stitch in the following manner. Insert the needle from inside of the flat circle and out of the stitch on the last round of the spider web. Then insert the needle from outside of the spider web and out of the stitch on the flat circle. Now go on repeating the process till the end of the round. With this we have completed the assembly of the bag. This is how the bag looks like after attaching the spider web from inside and out. We have only joined from the outer edges and inside of the spider web is kept free. 
The last finishing to do is to attach the spider keyring to the bag. And with this, our spider web bag is ready to flaunt.